Now, the pandemic continues to put a serious strain on blood supplies across the nation, and donating blood is now more important than ever. That's why the Blood Connection, based right here in the Carolinas, is asking for your help this morning. Fox 46's Brett Baldeck is live in the studio with a look at how blood drives are still operating safely during this pandemic. Good morning, Brett. Good morning, and while there is a slowdown in donors, you still have the option to give blood during this pandemic. Leaders at the Blood Connection say they don't need proof of a negative COVID test. As long as you are feeling healthy, you can show up and donate. The pandemic continues to push people away from a prick in the arm to give blood. Typical pre-pandemic blood drives like this one have changed. It's been really interesting to see what has worked in the pandemic and, and what really doesn't work anymore. What works are mobile units. The Blood Connection has two buses that usually come to Charlotte weekly. The only change during the pandemic are cleaning measures and the number of people allowed on board. We really can go almost anywhere. The only thing we need is about six to seven parking spaces worth of space to put the blood mobile and it just needs to be like on level ground so we can't be on a tilt or anything like that because of the machines that we're using on the bus this month the hope is to get more miles on the bus as the need for blood is at a critical level february weather and flu season are partially to blame combine all of those things including the pandemic and that's why we're here the blood connection is a community blood center meaning donated blood goes to hospitals in the carolinas during this time of critical need once blood is cleared from testing it immediately heads to a hospital it's not really an option for us not to have what our hospitals need so we just have to get the message out to the community in order to get those donations in the next mobile blood drive is this Friday from noon to five in Huntersville. You can see the information on your screen, but there are dozens scheduled over the next month. Just visit fox46.com for a full list. And if you choose to donate, you will receive a $20 gift card as a thank you. And I'm told that if you choose to donate as well, you do, it does not matter if you have or have not received the COVID-19 vaccine. You can still donate no matter if that vaccine has gone into your arm or not. Uh, Brett, we know typical indoor blood drives aren't happening like they used to. So what are some of the other options for people besides mobile drives? So that uh, donation drive that or donor drive that we just showed you on your screen is actually happening at an apartment complex and they're going to just drive the bus into the complex, park it in the parking lot. And obviously that makes a lot of sense because there's hundreds of people alone who live in that complex. And they're also looking at some sports venues to host some indoor blood drives. So